In this video, you are going to learn how to get the cinematic color grading in Adobe Photoshop. Coming up. Hi everyone, I am Harshwardhan. Welcome to another superb episode. In the previous video, we have learned how to do the professional color grading in Adobe Photoshop using the color balance adjustment layer. And then we have also learned how to create your own LUT presets so that you can color grade very easily using the LUT presets. If you have not watched those video, please go ahead and watch them as well. The link of those video is in the description section below. In this video particularly we will be learning how to get the teal and orange cinematic color grading using the Adobe Camera Raw filter and will be more specifically using the HSL panel and the calibration panel of the Adobe Camera Raw. So without further ado let's get started. In this video we will use the Camera Raw filter to color grade this image and for that purpose what you have to do first you need to create a duplicate copy of your main image so that it remains safe and that is called the non-destructive editing so now we'll press ctrl j or command j if you are using mac to have a duplicate copy of it and thereafter we will go to the filter and we will select the camera raw filter if you are using the adobe photoshop cc version then you might have this option but if you are using the older version like cs5 or cs6 then you might not have this option available for you so you may have to click on this or you can simply press the shortcut keyboard command and that is Control shift a or command and shift a and that's going to launch the camera raw filter over here so and the good thing about this is that you can even use the jpeg file which i am right now using to make some adjustments in the camera row so now let's come over here on the hsl adjustment panel okay this is the hsl adjustment panel and basically in this method we will be targeting different colors and we will be giving them different looks so we will be targeting hue saturation and luminance hue is basically the different color so we can target or make the red color to something like this where it has lots of pink or we can take it to the orange side and then we have the orange colors we can take it to the red side or towards the yellow side and then we have the yellow we can drag it to the orange side or towards the green side so using this technique we have all these different colors available for us and we can take them to different way and that's how we can color grade using the hsl panel so this is the hue and hue is basically the different shades of the color and then we have the saturation saturation is basically how rich that color would look or how vibrant that color would look so we can adjust that we can lower down that like you can see over here we can lower down the red orange yellow green or aqua blue purple agenda and similarly there is a luminance and luminance is basically the brightness value of that color so we can make the colors darker on the left side and we can make them brighter on the right side so we have the red orange yellow greens and so we have all of these colors so we can make them brighter or darker depending on the mood or the look we want to go for so we will be using this hsl panel to color grade this image or you can come over here on this color profile option so if you'll just click over here calibration camera calibration option so here we can use that as well this is the fastest way of doing it but first let me show you how we can do this using the hsl panel which is over here so first of all we will be in the hue tab and for this purpose i'm going to give it a orange and teal look which is very famous these days which is a cinematic color grading so for that purpose what you can do we will come down first of all on the blues option so blue and aqua so we have to target these two colors and we want to give it a teal look so what we'll do first of all we'll take the aqua color and click this slider towards the teal color or this sky blue color and similarly we'll take the blue and we'll take it towards the sky blue color 
so let me just click and drag it and you can just notice the difference over here so in the aquas we'll click and drag it to this site and you can see nothing is happening reason being that there is no aqua color available in this image so if there is no color it's not going to affect it any way so no matter where you take it it's not going to affect it and now let's take it blue slider and let's click and drag it to the left side and now you can see you have noticed the difference now we are getting some this teal hue in the coat of this gentleman and if we drag it to the purple side you can see we are getting the purple hue so we'll click and drag it to this side so for this to work you have to have a blue color in your image but if you don't have the blue color there is a workaround which I'll show you in a moment so now second thing is now we have added some teal color or the teal shades to the image you can see in the sky we have got the teal color and now what we need to do will make the skin tone look little bit orange so for that purpose we'll go to the red color which is over here and we'll click and drag it to the right side and you will notice the difference in the skin tone and we'll click on the orange and drag it to the orange side so we don't want to take it too far where it looks very unnatural but we can go for something like this all right now we can see that now skin is little bit orangey and if you want you can work with the yellow and let's drag it to the orange side and if you take it to the green side it's not going to be looking good so we'll be taking it to something like this so let me just put in view and show you so this is what we have achieved so far so if I just press P on my keyboard so you will see the before and this is the after version and let me show you the side by side so this is the before and this is after I think it's showing me the other way around so this is the before and this is after we have got a little bit this teal hue in the image and now uh, what I will do I will increase the saturation of this aqua color or the blue color so I'll click and drag it up and click and drag the blue slider to the right side so that's going to add little bit more saturation and similarly we have the orange so we'll click and drag it to the right side so that's going to add lots of orange to the image and now I will show you how you can just fake the blue color if your image doesn't have the blue color so in that case what you can do you can come to this basic exposure panel which is over here so we'll click on this and then over here there is an option of temperature at the moment this is the default one as short so you can change it to the auto or custom or anything else but we need no need, need not to go into that we just have to focus on the temperature so over here we have this temperature slider so we can click and drag it towards the right side and that's going to add lots of warmness to the image so you will see this is how it looks and if we we'll click and drag it to the left side it's going to add the blue color to the image and the moment we add the blue color you can see now we start to see the real effect but make sure you don't have to go too far because that would look fake and that would look, look very unprofessional so we don't want that we want the professional results so we'll add a, just a hint of that so you can see this is before and this is after so we have just achieved this with the help of HSL panel and the temperature and now let me just reset it and show you how you can do the same thing with the help of camera calibration adjustment panel which is over here so what you can do you can even save this setting so that you can just quickly apply all of these so for that purpose what you can need to do you need to come over here on the setting panels and here you can see I have already saved some of my set presets so what you need to do you need to come down and select this page like icon just click over it and that's going to open up 
this dialog box over here you need to first give it a name so i'm going to give it a teal orange look and uh, this is i'm going to give it a test name and that would be in a group called user preset or you can create a new group so by default let it be in the user preset so you can go for the all the settings or you can selectively go for the settings suppose if you want to do some other other adjustments uh, in the image like treatment of white balance exposure etc then you don't want to save all these settings because all the settings which have currently been applied to this image would be applied to your new image so suppose if your new image has less exposure and if you apply this one you might not get the perfect exposure so for that purpose what you have to do you have to just select only custom sub only custom settings so for that purpose let me just select this check none and now first of all we need to check the white balance because in this case if even if your image would not have the blue color or the aqua color even in that case the you will get the same look and then what we have done we have adjusted the hsl adjustment so we'll just check this one and leave other thing as it is and then we'll press the ok and that's going to save it and you can see it is something somewhere over here let me just see where is it all right so this is over here teal and orange look test all right and now let me show you by resetting everything how it looks all right so now i'm back with the default setting and now i'm going to apply the preset we have just created so for that purpose i need to go to the preset option or this setting like a uh, icon and click over here and over here you will see that this is over here teen orange look test so I'll just click over it and you can see it has been applied immediately with just one click and you can use it with any of your image all right and if you want that this is a too much of teal color just go to the basic panel and bring back the temperature to something like this which you like all right so this is how we can just do this with the help of hsl panel and now i'll show you how you can do the same thing with the help of camera calibration panel so let me just once again reset everything and just double click it go to the hsl panel select the default in the saturation select the default all right so now we are back with the original image so we'll go to the calibration panel and over here we have the similar options so we can adjust the hue of red so we can take it to the, towards the pink side or we can take it to the orange side and then we can adjust a saturation similarly we have the option for green color and the blue color the, the advantage of this is that you have only three colors or three sliders to work with earlier in the hsl panel you have lots of different colors you have red orange yellow which gives you more control over the image or how the different color would look but here you have only three options so you can get the same look with the help of this one as well so let me just show you so first of all i'm going to target the red primary so i'll click and drag it towards the orange side to get something like this orange skin and then we have the saturation option so we'll increase the saturation a little bit and then we'll come down on the blue primary and we'll click and drag this slider to the left side so that's going to add some teal or cyan in the image and then i will increase the saturation and you can see that we don't have the much blue color in this image so we'll go to the basic panel and adjust its temperature to the left side to something like this all right this one is fine if you'll just go this much that won't look good or professional so something like this is just fine and go back to the calibration option and over here then if you want you can adjust the green primary but this is not going to affect too much all right so now we have achieved this effect with the help of just three sliders we have almost got the similar result all right so this is how you can color grade using the hsl panel and the 
camera calibration panel and you can get the cinematic teal and orange look with the help of this one and if you want you can use my teal and orange look photoshop action as well which will give you the instant result of something like this very easily and you can get to this preset as well so let me show you how you can save this preset which you can use even in the lightroom so we'll click on this hamburger menu which is over here and click save settings that's again going to open up this dialog box and here you can select all settings or you can select selective settings so i'll check the check none and first i will select the white balance because that's very important and then we have adjusted the calibration option so which is over here so i'll just check it and select the process version as well and hsl panel we have not touched that for this option so we'll select all of these and then we'll press press the save and that's going to open up the file browser so you can just save it anywhere so i'm going to save it on a new location and you can download this one as well from the link in the description section by going to my website harshwardhanart.com all right so i will press ok and i will show you the difference this is before and this is after we have achieved after we have applied the color grading using the hsl panel and the camera calibration panel in adobe camera Raw. So thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the like button. If you did not like the video, hit the dislike button. If you have any question or if you want to say something, leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing to see the similar videos. And to subscribe, just click the big red button below this video. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all notifications so that you get.